Watch Live, Madrid demonstrators march against Catalonian independence from Spain as Prime Minister Rajoy takes control. Thousands of protesters are expected to march in Madrid calling for the country to remain united after the Catalonian parliament voted for independence. Spain's Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy has stripped the region of its autonomy under Article 155 of the country's constitution, leading to the closure of parliament and the dismissal of police chiefs and other public servants. Today there will be a rally for the unity of Spain and the constitution to be held in Madrid, following protests both for and against Catalonian independence last night. Independence activists had urged their followers to fill the streets after the region's lawmakers voted to declare independence yesterday. Catalonia separatists urge followers to fill the streets after leaders vote to declare independence from Spain. Catalonia's regional parliament voted in favor of forming a new republic following this month's controversial independence referendum, which was declared illegal by Spanish courts. Real Madrid's match against Girona this weekend could be cancelled due to security fears politicians opposed to independence left the parliament chamber before the vote took place. There were 70 votes in favor of declaring independence with 10 against and two blank ballots. Madrid responded to the vote by approving proposals to take control of Catalonia, and Deputy Prime Minister Soraya Sens de Santa Maria is in direct control. Spanish unity protester punches Catalan independence supporter in brutal footage as tensions rise in Barcelona. Catalan leader Carles Puigdemont said after the vote, Today our legitimate parliament, a parliament, that came out of a democratic election, has taken a very important step. The legitimate representatives of the citizens have followed the people's mandate. Now we are facing times when we will need to keep calm and peaceful, always with dignity as we have always done. It's the institutions and also the people who have to work together to build a country, a society, a country can't be built separating these two elements. Barcelona boss Ernesto Valverde tight-lipped on sides La Liga future after Catalonia declares independence MPs, councils, every one of you today, you all represent these links between institutions and the people, so that we can construct a country together. This is what we need to do, this is in our hands, in your hands. All the fundamental principles that make Catalonia a very old nation in Europe with its own culture and language. But mainly we want to build a society in the same line as we have always been responding to democratic principles in a civic way. Long live Catalonia! Today's vote was met with joy by separatists, who called for peaceful resistance against Madrid and urged civil servants not to follow orders from the capital. One pro-independence telegram group, Republicara, urged its followers to fill the streets after the vote. According to the Spain report. Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy previously called on senators to approve direct rule over Catalonia, which is currently semi-autonomous. He said direct rule was needed to return law, democracy and stability to Catalonia. Fears of violence as 450,000 take to the streets of Barcelona joined by independence leader following Spanish government bombshell he said he wanted to dismiss Mr. Pugmont, his vice president and all regional ministers. Mr. Rajoy said he had no other choice and said law, democracy and stability needed to be returned to Catalonia. The thing that Catalans need protecting from is not what they're calling Spanish imperialism, but a minority who, in an intolerant way, declare themselves the owners of Catalonia and consider as exclusive a history, culture and feelings that are the heritage of the community, he said. The referendum, which was declared illegal by Madrid, was won in favor of independence by 2 million votes to 177,000. But the ballot was marred by allegations of police brutality as officers tried to shut down polling stations. The Spanish government later vowed to do everything necessary to prevent independence. Article 155 of the Spanish Constitution empowers the government to take all measures necessary to compel a region in case of a crisis. It would enable Madrid to take control of Catalonia's finances, police and public media 